Hi guys and ladies, I found a recipe online for low carb KFC chicken. <laughs> you know me by now. I thought, why not KFC fish? <laughs> the only problem is how to catch fish in this extreme five degree cold. Let's try fishing in our shelter out on the dock. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's start out with this again. You see, it's a little ice fishing jig for panfish, and on the end is a mealworm. The dock has one board removed so that we can open the hatch of the shelter and drop this right through the dock and through the ice. So let's see if we can get a fish this way. Seven inches, yep. I thought I saw a bite. Well, I'm not doing any good in this shelter, so despite the bitter cold and wind, I'm gonna try to go out there on the ice. Wow! A monster! The bluegill here are so big! Wow! Look at that! That last fish was goofy. The line didn't seem to do anything. It just felt squishy, different. You know, like there might be something on it. 20 mile an hour winds when it's five degrees out. got one. Wow! I got one! <laughs> it had been a long time. Look at the size. Oh my goodness. So I brought this heater along with me. I can't get it to go on. It'll work fine in the house. So I only caught two bluegill, but they were big. They were monsters, and I have a lot of fish in the freezer, so I could do this recipe. I got it to go on, this heater. <laughs> I could warm my right ear with it. Whoa! Look at this! Oh, no! What a big bass! I gotta get him back in the water. He's too big. He's not good for our recipe. Let's get him back. <laughs> Woo! I'm on my third string camera now. Because of the cold, all the batteries died on my cameras. I think it's time to go in. Yesterday was brutal. Right after the last camera died from hypothermia, we caught another bluegill. So now we have, look, over a half pound of these nice bluegill fillets. And looky here, I've got more from the freezer. Before we attempt our KFC fish though, let's make some fries. Not ordinary fries, low carb fries, a new way. I'm gonna start with these elephant tusks. Actually, they're daikon or daikon radishes. I'm not sure how to pronounce them. First, a quick peel. Let's lop off the ends. Let me try to make one surface real flat. There, that's not going anywhere. Let's cut this in half. Now let's cut off some planks. The idea is to cut them into french fry-like sticks. Uh -huh. 
I'm going to play a game of pick up sticks here. We need to rinse these under cold water to get some of the starch out. That's what the directions say. What starch? I don't know. I've got a big old towel here. I'm going to pat them dry. I hope. Into this big bowl, I'm pouring about a third of a cup or more of olive oil. Here's a half teaspoon of paprika, one half teaspoon of granulated garlic, one half teaspoon of granulated onion, a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Here's a half teaspoon of kosher salt. Let's stir this up, see what happens. I don't know about this. Let's take our sticks, our french fries, and see if we could coat them. Now, you just keep stirring this for like three hours. I'm going to set our oven to really high heat, 475. All I'm going to do is dump and spread. Let's see what happens. I've got the nonstick foil on this baking sheet. Probably I don't need it. Let's try to get them in one layer. I'm going to put these in the oven for 15 minutes to start. Let's see if they shrivel up. It's been 16 or 17 minutes. I'm late. Let's see. You know, they're starting to look a lot like french fries. Look at that. All I'm going to do is flip them as much as possible. Let's just start flipping. Let's put this back in for another 15 minutes. That's been 15 more minutes. <laughs> Ooh, some are dark. They look crispy. But I doubt if they are. Look, that is not crispy. Mmm, I, I feel the heat. They're tender and delicious. I like the seasoning. Ooh, these are actually quite good. Just not crispy. Here's about a half cup of mayo. Now, I'm going to add about a teaspoon or so of chipotle sauce for dipping. I'm going to add a half a lime to that. About a tablespoon or more. Mix it up and that's it. Looks good though. Even though I got it all over my shirt. Oh. The sauce is so tangy and so good. Mm. Mm. Despite the accident. This is the recipe for KFC chicken. But we start off with about a cup. This is five ounces of almond flour. Now watch. Into our almond flour, I'm going to put about three quarters teaspoon of ground ginger. Here's that stuff I'm fond of using. It's a semi-dried or lightly dried parsley. Let's put it over a, a teaspoon and maybe two. I'm going to try to put in about one and a half teaspoons of paprika. I always used to say paprika. Here's three quarters teaspoon of this good chili powder. Now three quarters teaspoon of sage. Here's a half teaspoon of this Chinese five spice. I rarely use this. Been looking for a chance to use it. Dried basil. Three quarters teaspoon. Here's three quarters teaspoon of salt. Let's put about the same in for black pepper. I blew some air in this bag, but it helps. Look, now we can really mix it up. I've got our oven now set to 400. Look, here's our fish. Let's get it in this bag now, somehow. It's about a pound and a half here. No egg wash this time. Let's just shake, rattle, and roll. I've got this baking sheet with non-stick foil, but even so, I'm spraying uh, some Pam butter spray. I should have olive oil, but I don't. It's all right, butter. I'm just getting our fish fillets out, and I'm going to lay them down in the baking sheet. Look at this enormous bluegill fillet. I made a mistake. I left out mustard powder. Here's about a teaspoon. Let's see if we could add it now. Here's one last thing I'm going to do. I'm spraying this. You could use olive oil. I'm going to use my butter spray to spray the tops 
of all my fish fillets. I'm gonna put these in the oven for eight and a half minutes and we're done. It's been about nine minutes. Let's see what happened. Ooh, it looks good, doesn't it? It sort of resembles uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Who would have thunk? KFC Fish? Let me try some of my fish. Hmm. Oh, it's not real crispy, but it's got a little crunch. Hey, you know what? <laughs> this tastes, tastes like chicken. Seasoning is wonderful. Oh, I like this. I really like it. It does sort of taste like chicken. It's really good. If you don't like fish, try this because it tastes like chicken. I've got our food keeping warm in the oven. So let me quickly tell you, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. But uh, as you know, I've been pursuing her romantically for decades, but she doesn't seem interested in romance. And with Valentine's Day fast approaching, I wonder if she's even given me any thought. I should find out. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulucci. Thank you so much for joining me here out at my mousetrap-filled uh, mobile home. And you had a chance to consume my fake fries and KFC-like fish. And uh, what did you think? It was very good. The, the fish was remained moist, which is important on the inside, and the coating was tasty. It was. And I enjoyed the, the chipotle mayonnaise. Oh, and the fries were very good. They were sweet, almost. Yes, yeah, they weren't very crispy, but they, they, they are, tasted good. Yeah, they were very good. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Miss Cheeks, oh, I, I can say Lulu yes. now. Oh, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> do you have a date for Valentine's Day? Uh, yes, I do. It's February 14th. Huh? Oh, uh, can I have a hug?